European foul brood. When conducting regular brood checks, it's essential to look out for European foul brood, or EFB, caused by the bacteria Melissococcus pluton. It affects the larvae developing in the brood cells. The larvae basically collapse and fall out of their curled, out, curled up position in the cell. Then they go off color and eventually brown, and then they become a dry, dried up, forming a rubbery adhesion to the side of the cell. EFB tends not to consistently affect every larvae, so there'll be a scattering of healthy brood mixed with dead or dying larvae, like a sort of uh, peppered kind of effect. Basically, the larvae ingest the bacteria, which competes for food inside the larvae. Then the larvae usually dies before the cell is even capped. EFB is highly contagious can it, and can eventually result in colony collapse. As usual, requeening regularly, replacing of old queens and maintaining nutrition with pollen supplements if required, also reducing stress on the bees can all contribute to a stronger colony. The bacteria that causes EFB continues to exist in combs that have been previously contaminated, so the disease can be reintroduced by putting old combs back into the hive after they've been in storage. Antibiotics, teramycin actually, is available for treatment of EFB, but there are some disadvantages to this, including that the antibiotic ends up in the honey. You're better to maintain the colony using best management techniques and so avoid or control infection from within. EFB symptoms can be similar to American fowl brood symptoms. With the EFB, the larvae are seen coiled or twisted in their cells. With AFB, the dead larvae will pull out as a long ropey thread up to five centimetres long when a matchstick is inserted and then pulled out again. If in doubt, it's best to consult the DPI and submit a sample for laboratory analysis.